Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good whatever time of day it is to you. Um, I hope you are staying happy, healthy, and hydrated today. I wanted to take you guys on a tour of my new studio. I moved in here in April. I was previously just shooting out of my home in a home studio. You can check that tour out here. But I moved and I haven't shown you the new space. So I just wanted to take you all on a little behind the scenes of a 700-ish square foot studio. Let's go! Okay, some important things to note is that I am in Victoria, BC in Canada and our real estate market is trash. Everything is incredibly expensive. It is about on average anywhere from $30 to $40 a square foot um, for commercial real estate. And I know if you're in the States watching this, um, y'all have access to some really nice affordable spaces and I am so jealous. So keep that in mind while you're watching that, that this is a small space um, and I have made it work for me, it's all I really need. I don't really need more than this at this time. Um, however, it is quite small, so if you're sitting here being like, also really small space, um, it's because real estate in this part of the world is insane. So this is what I got, and it works really well for me, and if you are also in Canada and <laughs> just green with envy um, at all of those beautiful American photography spaces, I feel you. See you it hurts to watch people be renting 2,000 square foot spaces for like 800 bucks um, it is like the inverse here it is like 800 square feet for $2,000 which is almost exactly what my space is so rock on so yeah I just wanted to tell you the context of the market before I took you on the space if you're looking at comparing spaces and prices and sizing um, just know that you can't really compare from city to city, from country to country. Uh, I just hope you guys like the little behind the scenes studio tour of what I have managed to make work with this tiny space. So let's take a little look. So first things first, let me just show you the spaces where I shoot. I fell in love with this space because it has so many windows and it has windows in two different directions. So I get two different kinds of light if I want to. Um, yeah, so I will show you the three kind of main areas that I shoot and then I will show you the client getting ready area, my kitchenette area and the office area. So let's do it. I primarily shoot with dark and moody, really natural, even light, which is why I really liked this wall of windows. However, I do really love experimenting with harsh light, which is why I loved the fact that my studio has this one light that has really harsh light in the morning. I'm so blind right now. Um, so that I can play with it and experiment with different kinds of lighting so that not all my photos are exactly the same and I have a chance to be creative and explore. Um, so I'm filming this at the time where I have the really harsh sun coming in through the window. So <laughs> the video quality might be just a little bit eh because I am fighting with this light right now. I do have a V flat that I use to block this window when I want to use the other one so that I just have a nice even light and it's really easy to shoot dark and moody. But I just love, I just love this little, this little pocket of light. I'll pop some photos to show you guys some examples of how I use this amazing harsh light.
Another thing to note is that everything in the studio is super movable. I did it on purpose so that I can move the bed or the couch wherever the hell I want depending on my mood and what I want to shoot and what the light is like. So the couch is just like on little slideys, it's just like take it for a little ride. <laughs> Um, all of the plants I move all over the place to get different looks. The bed moves really easy. I just slide it around from location to location depending on yeah, what the light is like. Another key component in this studio is the use of velvet everywhere, especially just hanging velvet curtains. Behind here is just like this weird corner and in photos it just looks like a lot of dead space and it was just kind of sucking up the light. So I just hung this velvet curtain and it just the light hits it really nicely and it just adds a little bit more like delicacy and extravagance to the photos same with over here I have another velvet curtain hung um, just to add a little color texture and depth to the corner and then there's another velvet curtain over this way it's really dark in this corner so you can't see it but it actually is on a curtain rod so that I can move it <laughs> it's really dark over here and just tuck it behind there and that just separates this bed area from the rest of the office so when I'm shooting this way you can kind of just like see my office and where I edit and I don't like that so I just put this curtain up on this curtain rod and it just moves so that it looks like another room in another little corner. area it's just a little corner separated by this fake movable wall that I made with my partner um, it's just like a nice little area for people to put their stuff get ready get their hair done get their makeup done they can go through the client closet if they want to pick up something to wear if they didn't bring enough clothes or they just feel like wearing something a little bit different I picked up these lights to go around this mirror on Amazon and it just really lightens up the space and makes it feel like a little bit nicer like they're really here and it's official and they are about to get ready for their boudoir shoot um, yeah, so this is just like the little nook where they get ready. And then the kitchenette is just behind me. It is very simple, just a sink. Um, I negotiated for the sink in my lease because it was really important to me to be able to have somewhere to make my clients coffee and tea and also it just helps when I'm here for like 12 hours and I need to eat some food. I got a little microwave and a little uh, fridge and then I just made these shelves with my partner to hang up in the studio to just add a little extra storage and kind of make it feel really nice and homey. Last but not least is my editing corner or my editing corner or my workspace. Um, it is just an L-shaped desk and it just faces out into the rest of the studio. Um, I just really liked this little corner. I can see out. I can look directly at my client while they're getting their hair and makeup done. So there's like a direct line so we can still chit chat and hang out and talk. Um, I usually just work while my clients are in the makeup chair. However, it is nice to kind of just like input my little stories as well into whatever the hair and makeup artist is talking about with them so that there's still a little moment to connect. I'm not totally removed. I can still do my work while they're getting that stuff done, but I can also still be with them and still have that little connection moment. So here, it is, it's just really simple. This little L-frame desk just reaches out right over there. You can see the client getting their makeup done and then just the rest of the studio really bright because this corner is really dark. <laughs> that is it my friends. I hope you enjoyed this little behind the scenes tour of what my new studio looks like. Again it is just 700 square feet. Nice and small um, but I make it work with uh, just using the 
movable walls and making sure all of the props and the furniture in the studio are movable as well. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that fun YouTube stuff, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.